great Thanksgiving and a great long weekend. Today wasn't too bad. We did he have some sunny breaks, but an upper level low is still spinning overhead. And that will provide the chances of showers tomorrow. We'll actually clear out quite nicely overnight tonight, but that will allow for some dropping temperatures. We don't have that protective blanket of cloud cover overnight tonight. As we take a look at what's happening on the satellite radar, a few scattered showers off of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron this evening, but most of the showers that were for through eastern Ontario, for instance, have eased, and we didn't see anything heavy today. What we did experience, well, below average temperatures. We should be closer to 14 as a daytime high, just made it to 10 degrees in Toronto, and there were some single digits out there today, too. With breezy northerly winds, those winds, though, are going to start to ease. And I mentioned the skies clearing. There is the risk of frost around London, shores here of Lake Erie, through to Hamilton, and even portions of the GTA. The lake will likely keep things a little warmer for the downtown and Oakville and Mississauga, but head up towards Milton, Caledon, up through Richmond Hill and Vaughan and Durham. There is the risk of frost with temperatures dropping and near freezing overnight tonight. So make sure you protect those frost sensitive trees and plants in terms of the forecast conditions. Well, as I mentioned, we'll see some clearing, and then by tomorrow, there will be the chance of more showers, even some wet flurries for some areas, but we've got warmer weather on the way this week. I'll talk about that, too, in the full forecast just ahead. Ann. Thanks, Ross. Welcome back. It is Thanksgiving Monday. Yes. And what do people across Canada have in common at this day? A bit of a turkey hangover. Uh, not only turkey, all the fixings, there's stuffing, there's a pumpkin pie, and apparently Nutella. Oh, do tell. I mean, um, okay, full disclosure, Ross busted me. I was uh, snacking on Nutella with nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, not for everyone, but you have a forecast that has a little something for everyone. That's true. You know how to throw to weather. Let's take a look at your forecast. So it will be another cool day tomorrow. We start off between 3 to 5 degrees tomorrow morning. The risk of frost as you head north into the GTA, Durham as well, uh, as you head north and west of the city towards Caledon, for instance, and in through uh, Orangeville, possibly. Uh, things should stay on the warmer side, closer to the lake overnight tonight, so not widespread frost. And then we stay cool tomorrow. We should be closer to 14 degrees. There will be a northwest wind 20 to 40 kilometers per hour and a bit of lake enhanced shower activity could move in later in the afternoon towards the evening hours. Nothing too heavy. Now let's look at temperatures across the country on this Thanksgiving Monday and 23 in Calgary. Some mild conditions through Saskatchewan. That's the brand of air that will eventually move east but in the meantime it's certainly been a cooler pattern. You can see that by the blue contours across much of the east and then you can match that with this trough and this upper level low that's in place. Notice the jet stream rising well to the north over Alberta. Alberta and Saskatchewan. That's the upper level ridge that will eventually move into the Great Lakes. But in the meantime, we still have a bit of instability to deal with, uh, especially by tomorrow, bringing us the chance of some showers. And as we look at what happens through the overnight, relatively quiet. And then as we move through tomorrow afternoon is when those showers could start to form off of Georgian Bay, off of Lake Huron, and portions of eastern Ontario. Now, Possibly a bit of wet snow pot, uh, is not out of the question, let's just say, up towards the Dundalk Highlands and the Halliburton Highlands tomorrow, but we're not expecting significant accumulations. But those showers will be off and on, possibly reaching the GTA tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon and evening. Possibly a few scattered showers early Wednesday, and then we'll start to see this drier pattern set up as this high pressure ridge moves in. And wait until you see what we'll see in terms of temperatures. It really is uh, an improvement. If you're not a fan of the cooler conditions that we experienced over the last couple of days. Okay, so tomorrow we get up to near 10 degrees in Toronto, still some single digits in London and Peterborough and Kingston, increasing cloud cover throughout the day with that chance of afternoon and early evening showers. And as we look at the longer range details, you can see that chance of showers early Wednesday, we get up to 10, 16 on Thursday, 18 on Friday, plenty of sunshine, and we're in the high teens. Uh, through this weekend, it looks like even those overnight lows will be pretty warm, and even early next week, the possibility of hitting 20 degrees. And that's a look at your forecast. Calgary Flame star Nazem Kadri 